Hey guys, uh, so we have one more interview, but this interview is really, really special because it's rank one in general surgery or the surgical group for NEET SS September 2022 session. And you can't imagine how uh, elated I am. My chair is literally <laughs> floating on the ground right now. And if I am this elated, I'm sure uh, Atish must be, you know, super happy right now. So Atish, how do you feel getting rank one? Uh, okay, yeah, so it's been a week, but since I don't think it has set in, uh, it's still happening in waves, actually. So I think I still need a little more time to actually get used to the fact that I actually got this. Uh, yeah, to be honest, it feels really great. It feels, I mean, it's difficult to explain something like this. But for someone who expected a rank within 500, if this happens, it's, I mean, it's absolutely unbelievable, right? So I'm still in that phase, actually. It just feels like a dream. I don't... You know, it, uh, yeah, it's totally, it still feels like a dream. It's still, I mean, it still takes time for me to understand, get to the fact that, okay, it actually happened. And people are going to rip, rip about you, you know, uh, talk about this and, you know, tease you about it for years to come, I guess. Yeah, that's true. Are, I mean, one more thing is, every time a friend calls me up, they tell me how proud they are that they're my friend. I'm like, that is something very special. It's never happened to me before. So yeah, that <laughs> all of that feels really special. <laughs> Uh, you might say this about coaching centers or about friends or even relatives. Uh, coming to uh, coming to this thing, I hope your parents are parents and uh, you know people at home are happy about this. I mean, they're super happy. Like the number of calls that I've been getting, they're getting double the number of calls actually, and they feel really proud. And it's very nice to see that on their faces that they're really proud that they funded all of this. So it feels really nice. It's genuine happiness that I see on their faces, my relatives' faces, my friends' faces. It all feels so nice. It's something unbelievable. <laughs> Great, Atish. Atish, why surgical gastro? Why surgical gastro? Uh, the thing is, the last three years when I did my general surgery, when I walked into it, okay, in fact, to be um, to start from the beginning, when I got into MBBS, I had decided that I'm going to take up general surgery. But then when I got into general surgery, I wasn't really sure what I wanted after this. I had ruled out a few branches, which weren't really okay for me. But then I still had like three, four branches in mind. But then as years went by, uh, the thing is, abdomen is something that always fascinates general surgery residents. It applies to a lot of us. It applies to a lot of us, I'm sure. Like one of my co-PGs who wanted plastic surgery when she walked in, she eventually turned into surgical gastro. Only reason is abdomen is something that fascinated her and everyone around us as well. So for me... Oh, I, was, I was one of those guys. I walked into MS uh, saying... Uh, plastic, then it, it was gastro, I worked in gastro, then I switched over to pediatric. So yes, but plastic is something I ruled out, no offense to plastic, but yeah, it, <laughs> yeah. It's, it's a Pandora's box. Right? The exactly, exactly. Uh, the Pandora's uh, box is something that always fascinates the residents per se. And then, you know how they say pancreas you should never touch, liver you should never touch, it's too risky. And that kind of challenging thing is one more thing that kind of brought me into this. So that's one more reason why surgical gastro is up there for me. Great, man. I think, I think uh, uh, the, the, the sheer thrill of operating on, on a yeah. forbidden organ, you know, you know yes. it kind of excites all of us. So that's, that's, yeah. that's, 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 that's a very valid reason, I would say. You know, if you didn't have that risking ability, surgery itself would not have attracted uh, you uh, in first place. Yeah, exactly. So I think yeah. Uh, uh, surgical gastro is a very natural progression for uh, any general surgery resident. Hey, so, exactly. Atish, so, Atish, uh, tell me more about yourself. You know, where did you do your MBBS? Where about your MS? Okay, so I did my MBBS in KMC Manipal. So, I'm from Kundapur actually, which is really close to KMC Manipal. So, I chose this college, and it's also one of the most reputed institutions Absolutely. anyway. Yeah, yeah. So, it worked out perfectly well for me. And uh, immediately after that, I joined PG in uh, Bangalore Medical College uh, in Victoria Hospital actually. So, uh, that's where I did my PG, and following that. I was doing my one year rural service bond in uh, Kim's Hubli, actually, uh, which I had to cut short because of this. Uh, okay. But yeah, so these are the three institutions that I actually went to. So. Okay. So, Adish, uh, uh, so you had a very limited time. It's hardly about uh, slightly more than a month uh, yeah, yeah, before yeah. you actually uh, wrote your exams after your MS. So, man, yes, how do you actually do this? Uh, so to be very honest, it uh, I thought next year would be my real shot at this. This year was just going to be a trial run for me because it's going to be a new pattern of exam. So everyone's going to be new to this. So that's one of the reasons I actually thought of giving it a shot this time. Otherwise, I'd always planned surgical gastro is one of the hardest to get. 
So I decided that I'm going to spend one year for it and then uh, probably eventually get a seat. But then what happened was my whole rural service board. So that got postponed by like a month and a half, two months, which was supposed to start by August. It went down till September 15th, September 12th, actually. So then when the, when ND released the whole uh, schedule for the exams, so this came six weeks prior. So when the schedule came, I was in Manali, actually. So we were, uh, all my copies, all of us had gone on a trip post MS exams. So once that happened, uh, I came back home. I had nothing else to do, actually. I had to wait till my bond started. So one and a half months was there until the exams. So I decided that, okay, I have one and a half months. Might as well give it a very good shot. So that month and a half is when I actually prepared, gave it my all. Uh, I think what really helped me was my preparation, which I did prior to my PG exam, actually. So I'd refer to Bailey and Sabiston for my PG preparation. Uh, so all of that base, all of that foundation eventually led to me being able to revise very well during my one and a half months. So uh, that was an advantage to this passing out batch compared to the people who have been preparing last one year. So what I would say is henceforth, you don't have to stick to one subject anyway, right? It's going to be just general surgery. So all the people who will just pass out, they'll obviously have an advantage because they're fresh from what they've just learned. Absolutely. And, and I was lucky that most of, almost all the questions were from Sabiston and Bailey this time. I think maybe it'll continue. I'm not sure, but when you have a good foundation, it's obviously going to help. And the next one and a half months, I didn't really have time to go through a lot of information. So I had to stick to something which is very really concise. So what I did was search test question back was something that I used really well. So I used to make uh, notes of all the points that were written below the questions. So all of that and a few PDFs, which my friends had sent and a few sources here and there, like it was because I didn't have a lot of time. I couldn't refer to multiple sources, which was really concise, which I couldn't refer to video lectures either. So whatever was possible in that one and a half months is all I did. And yeah, thankfully it worked out. <laughs> Great, man. Great. Hey, so tell me more about how uh, useful you found the search test question, man. Uh, how were the questions? And uh, so we heard that a lot of repeats came from the question, man. So was it true? Yes. Yeah. So something, uh, something very peculiar, like I'll pick out a few questions, actually. So we had two questions on gallbladder CA, actually, and the TNM staging. So this TNM staging is exactly what is given in Sabiston. But then search test actually told us that Okay, so they can ask you a question on whether it's T2A or T2B based on whether there is peritoneal involvement or whether it's liver involvement. So how search test refines the knowledge is something really useful, actually. It tells you exactly what they can pick out for an MCQ. Though everything is there in Sabiston, you may not really have paid attention to that. But what search test did was you refined it and then you told us exactly how they can frame a question. And these are direct repeats from search test. Like these are the two questions that I, as soon as I saw the question, I knew the answer because I had saw, I'd seen the same question there. It saved me a lot of time as well. So that is one thing I would really appreciate about search test. And thank you so much for it, actually. Yeah, absolutely, man. Absolutely. Hey, so Gopi and I are, uh, so Gopi is doing surgery just right So Gopi and I okay. the uh, general surgery question, man. And, and, and uh, I must tell you, we are absolutely chuffed, but, you know, happy that you're, you're, you're talking about the question, man. So that makes us a, you know, <laughs> Gives us an extra bit of happiness when you you see that your baby is doing really well. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, so, power to search test actually. <laughs> <laughs> good man, good. Hey, so Adesh, so your story is 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 a very different thing. What it actually tells is that focused preparation on the books and solving questions daily, one and a half months is more than enough. Uh, yeah, <laughs> I mean it worked out for me. I wouldn't say it'll. I mean I was lucky as well. Thank God for that. It's, it's more uh, like yeah, you know, so, the universe conspires when you want something. The universe conspires. Yeah, that's, that's very that. true. That's very true. That's very true, actually. I always believed in the concept that it depends on how well you revise at the end of your one year or six months of preparation. So if you can revise really well, then everything will work out. Obviously, the foundation that you uh, do prior to that will be useful. But how well you revise is what counts at the end of it. And this revision that I had was, I think, was really useful for me. Great, great, Adesh. Hey, Adesh. Uh, so let's kind of make it a little lighter. Uh, okay. So uh, what do you intend to do after your MCH? Uh, the thing is, I haven't really planned it through. Uh, every person I've spoken to, they said everything you do should uh, revolve around where you want to settle. And for me personally, I haven't really decided on where to settle. So I'm still working on that. Uh, I've been considering going abroad for a few years as well. Like, 
I'm someone who wants to travel. And the thing is, once you come back to your hometown or wherever you want to settle, once you get into it, you won't really have time to go out and explore the world. So, so what? Absolutely. Yeah. So what I was thinking was, hopefully, I mean, if everything works out, uh, after my surgical gastro, I would, I mean, ideally, I go to UK for a fellowship, spend a year or two there, travel the world, travel Europe, travel probably, I mean, any places nearby, uh, explore the world, and then come back, and then yeah, settle down, and then yeah, make a living here. Yeah. Great man, great. Hey, uh, so there is this huge perception that uh, rankers, top rankers, are nerds, and I'm uh-huh. sure you're not one. But <laughs> so my my the, the viewers would also like to know, uh, you know, what do you do besides reading? So don't tell me, uh, don't tell me what exactly you did at Kasol or Manali. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, definitely not, definitely not. <laughs> yeah. So what uh-huh. Kasol stays in Kasol. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I what I do generally is uh, I'm really into sports actually. So I used to play football for my college previously. Uh, yeah, so once I got into PG, I didn't really have a lot of time. But what we would do is we would book uh, courts and six on six, and we would go play. Uh, and Netflix, yeah, I'm sure any everyone does it. So what I do is play sports, watch a lot of sports. I'm a big fan of Arsenal, so I follow yeah. that very closely. Oh, you, you too, sir. <laughs> Gunner man, gunner. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> top of the table, top of the table. <laughs> yeah, so, um, so. Uh, you know, you know, ever since, uh, ever since the trial boundary Reyes, I mean, since then, you know, it's it's been pretty pointless watching it. Yeah, and that too. So when it actually happened, I was in class four in two thousand four. Since then, it's like that time I wouldn't understand football so much. Since then, it's been going really bad. Now, yeah, yeah. finally, I, I, things I are turning up. I started watching a little earlier. So, when I started watching, it was, I think, 99. Again, I was a uh, fourth standard again. So, I okay. think, 99, it was Burkham who was uh, okay. uh, the captain. And, you know, okay. I used to watch his moves. Uh, the, and, uh, and, uh, I used to follow all the trivia. And, you know, that, that Dutchman and, and, of course, Andre. Uh, uh, and, you know, the entire defense line, they, they really made me love football. So, uh, <laughs> the, the, the real fact is that I never expected to, uh, you know, when I, I was, the next question I was about to ask is uh, uh, what team in the Premier League you follow? But it's been very, <laughs> it's very rare that anyone is an Arsenal fan these days. Because kids yeah, yeah, it's so difficult to find. We're a dying breed, actually. That's true. That's very true. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so, so, so nice to see a fellow Buddha. Uh, and we will, you know, plan a match of football uh, the next time. I'm in yes, 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 yes. That'd be great. Yes. <laughs> Sure, sure, sure. Hey, Adesh. Uh, so I think I think this was a very uh, uh, fun session overall. Uh, <laughs> nice to clear the impression that if you are a first striker, you don't need to be a nerd or you don't need to spend all your time uh, with books or anything. So, yeah, so yeah, hey, yeah. Adesh, I think uh, it is absolutely fantastic knowing you, meeting you, <laughs> and from the entire Searchers family, I wish you all the very best. And I hope you really do really well in your life and you get to travel and see the entire world. Best wishes, Adesh. <laughs> Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much. It was great fun talking to you, actually. It was really fun. And then, oh yeah, big shout out to Search Test, actually. Thank you so much uh, for making this happen. And uh, oh yeah, big credit to you and everyone behind making the question back. It was really useful. This was impossible without you guys. I'm not just sponsoring this or endorsing this, but this is what I actually feel. So thank you so much. Thank you so much for this. I'm like Arsene Wenger, man. I have a great team behind me. Not the current team. Uh, <laughs> yes, yes, yes. <laughs> See you, man. Take care. Sure. Thank you. Thank you so much.